Minnesota hanging on to a more narrow lead now as Iowa State closing the gap. Well, this is maybe one of the most anticipated matches of the night, wouldn't you say? Johnny Hendricks, a two-time champion at 165 pounds, going for his third straight title against Mark Perry, an old nemesis from Iowa. One of his championships is at the cost of Mark Perry two years ago. That's who Johnny beat. Everybody loves to hate him if you're not from Oklahoma State, but none seem to be able to beat him. Well, Leah looking on as Johnny, he said he's really matured in his time at Oklahoma State. Came in as a freshman, said I didn't take it seriously. Finished fifth as a freshman. And says I really wish I had listened to my coach, John Smith. I know that I probably could have been a four-time champion had I done that. Well, going for his third championship, he'd be the 16th Cowboy to be able to accomplish the feat in their legendary history. The last one to do so? Rochelle, well, from last year, winning it in 2004, 5, and ending it in 2006. It was the orange singlet, Mark Perry in the black. Of course, part of the story here is that Mark Perry grew up in Stillwater. He's John Smith's nephew. John Smith's sister, Kathy, is Mark's mother, and Mark Perry, who is, uh, wrestled for Oklahoma State, is his dad. He went to Blair Academy and then chose to leave the state of Oklahoma State or for, of Oklahoma for his college career at Iowa. He's very dangerous, good on top. Tremendous wrestler, just has not beaten Johnny Hendricks. Johnny Hendricks, of course, winning last year against Ryan Shirell of Michigan in a somewhat controversial way. And as he went out wearing the flag of Oklahoma State, a lot of people who didn't take kindly to that. It kind of gave Johnny Hendricks a bad boy image in the sport. And the people that know him well say it's really not fair because Johnny Hendricks is one of the best guys you'll ever meet. Now he's got a leg on Perry. And Perry's got his leg. He picked him. Hendricks with the initial shot. Perry with a nice counter. They're all tangled up in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, no, 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 no. As long no, as Perry's no, no. able to keep that ankle okay. right there, they'll call a stalemate. Dave Frisch, our referee. One thing you can't say about Johnny Hendricks is that he ever takes a break. He wrestles every second of the match. Sometimes it's just right to reward the aggressor. And if Johnny Hendricks gets it, it's because he's aggressive. Good double leg attack shot no, here. No, 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 no. Let's go. If Hendricks can turn him back in, if he can turn Perry back in. Oh, nice counter, nice hips by Perry. Now they're out of bounds. Fighting the line, that's what cost Hendricks that take that was fighting the line. He couldn't get the leverage because he was trying to keep a toe in bounds. Perry is able to square his hips up and keep, Perry, uh, keep Hendricks from getting that. Action! Hendricks, by the way, and that win over Ryan Shirella, he was down three points in the third period and wound up winning 9-8. Hendricks has made four shots and, and a, a warning on stalling on, um, on Perry. It's a good call by, by Frisch, the uh, official. Perry can come around and hook the leg. He will get two. He's only got three oh, seconds to do it. And he's going to run out of time. Well, Johnny Green Hendricks, it's a love-hate relationship, isn't it, Quint Kesnick? He said this week he's got 13,000 fans here hating me and 3,000 loving me. Fans here in Michigan, remember, want to see him go down based on what happened last season in the NCAA Finals. It got so bad, Johnny went to the pastor at his church. The pastor counseled him, forgive those who talk bad to you and those who hate you. Hendricks, not comfortable being cast as the villain of college wrestling. He perpetually feels that he is underrated and under 
underappreciated, and that's what drives him. It certainly does. Again, that controversial win over Ryan Shirella last year, and again, draping that cowboy flag over his shoulders. It didn't sit well with some in the wrestling community, but Johnny will tell you, hey, when's the last time a wrestler made ESPN's top ten plays? A lot of fans hate me, but it's what our sport needs. He is entertaining. Well, what, we need characters. And what does sit well with wrestling fans is his aggressive style, and look what he's doing right now. He's got a lot of pressure on Perry. He's controlling that near rest. He's looking to work. He's had five or six shots. He has really been the aggressor in this match, and that's what they love, and they should. That's what wrestling needs. Building up some riding time now. It's up to 46, 47 seconds. Perry looking for a way of an escape. He's been able to ride him so far this entire second period. One minute. He could get warned for starting right, here. He's not he's, he needs to work up. He needs to work up. Perry needs to explode off the bottom. He needs to make an action here that gives himself a chance. Get his head up, hips clear, explode. There's John Smith, six-time world champion. Two of those are Olympic gold medals. Perry really struggling on the bottom here. See, there's no explosion there. Johnny Hendricks, his dad, Kevin, coached him since Don't elementary school. Easy. Don't take it out. Come down. His dad, Kevin, said, I knew that Johnny was committed because he won his first go, state on, championship go. in high school as a freshman. Dad gave him 20 bucks to go out and celebrate with his friends. He said, no, Dad, keep it. I'm go. going to the gym to work Kevin. out. Now, there's two kinds of pain of the life. The pain of discipline, pain of regret. You got to make that choice as an athlete. We're going to be second. Vice grip like ride by uh, Hendricks here. Doing a nice job. See, he's got both a double wrist lock. Now he's working on the near wrist. Perry's head on the mat, elbow out. As long as that head's down, Perry's going nowhere. Now what, what's going to tell the story here is what Perry does on top. He's very good on top. There's Tom Brands, three-time NCAA champion for the Hawkeyes and Olympic gold medals in 1996. In his first year at Iowa and his alma mater as the head coach. He's back. But uh, Perry will get his opportunity on top. Short time, critical to keep him down for Hendricks. And he does. So he rides out the entire second period. It's two minutes of riding. Hurry up, gentlemen. And we'll take bottom. But still, take him. Three, two. Well, Leah Hendricks nervously Three, watching go. to see if her husband, Johnny, can win his third straight NCAA title. Gosh, well, you see the quick Hendricks. movement by Hendricks go. in the escape. Much different Relax. than Mark Perry. Wait, Jump the gun pause. a little bit, but you're exactly right. Just two different styles there. There's a power style from... Set. Hendricks and he feeds off the explosion. No, I'll take that one. That's mine. And the referee says he's calling him up. But did you see what you see what Perry's doing? Elbow and pause. Belly, elbow and pause. Okay? He's showing one side and he goes to the other. Now here he's gonna come on to the right side. Hendricks will try to duck his leg. Watch toe, watch toe, watch toe. Green, the green, the green. There is a top right here. Great hips by Hendricks. Perry doesn't want to give up two. He breaks that lock on his leg. He's going to get to. Wow, Perry hanging on. Unbelievable. If he can keep those fingers locked and get a stalemate, it's the move of there the man, but he couldn't. And what, what Hendricks is able to do right here, he's got that elbow tied. Looking to tie up those wrists again and put that pressure on. He has kept Perry's head on the mat, the elbows out, the wrists tied up this entire match. And he kept riding time. Oh my. Now so by Perry. And we're right back to where we were. So, so Perry 
right back to what he like, where he likes to be. Now let's see if he can do anything. But get around, stalling. He's got red stalling right now. And Perry's doing to uh, Hendricks the, the elbow out, the head down. Perry needs to ride Hendricks at least ten more seconds to get rid of the riding jab. Yeah, but if he Stay lets this go, now the it's escape is the key. If he gets away, then then he ought to take him down. He's really got to ride him out. I think they each Belly, have a caution, right? I believe and so. Then, and then the referee took one on his own. <laughs> this is a little bit better situation for Perry. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. No. He, oh. he, yes, he got the he count. Got the he got the count, and he's got the riding time. He is going to win this match if he holds him right here. He needs to keep him flat. We said that Perry was dangerous on top. Now he smells it. And his uncle knows it. That was a whole different start for Perry. He was able to pull him back into his lap and get that tilt. Don't ever count Hendricks out. Mark Perry has never beaten Johnny Hendricks. And another quick start. Caution, the second one, the next one's a point. Next one's a point, nine seconds, not much time. Hendricks needs a miracle. It should be ten. Why'd they take a second off? Escape, one point match, five Go. seconds. Perry's gonna win it. Mark Perry keeps Johnny Hendricks from being a three-time NCAA champion. The emotion of Mark Perry spilling.